you told a little bit of story to us in the in the preseason about working on your puck skills. Yep. When, when you look back now and kind of a year ago where you were at handling the puck in the NHL, how far do you think you've come? Um, I think a big difference. I'm I'm getting more uh, more confident with it. Um, I'm do, I'm making more plays. Um, I think that uh, by by practicing so much on it, uh, you, you get more and more uh, confident. I think there's still uh, a lot of work to do. I think I'm uh, there's still some some turnovers. I'm not I'm not really happy with, but I feel that when you when you make more plays, uh, I think the t- turnovers uh, um, are are kind of part of it. But um, I'm really really uh, really happy that uh, I've gr- I've grown a lot with it. But there's still uh, quite a bit of work to be done. Do you feel like, I feel like sometimes for younger players when they come up, like they want to get the puck, but when they get it, they want to get it off their stick fast enough? Or are you more like the timing of the play now? And Yeah, uh, I remember uh, the first, I would say all, all season, uh, last season when uh, I, I didn't really want it, <laughs> especially in the, in the ozone. I was like, just, please just don't, don't, don't pass it to me. I'm just here, but don't. Uh, <laughs> but now I, 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 you know, I want it, and, uh, and I think that uh, Cooley and I have built a pretty good uh, chemistry, and uh, we're starting to, to uh, make more and more plays, create more and more uh, chances, which is uh, it's, it's definitely uh, a lot more fun than, than last year where I would just get it and just uh, put it uh, down low. It seems like when you get the puck at the point, are you looking for a? It seems like your head up is looking for a stick yeah. or a tip. Yeah, I think I think it's part of the, it's part of the confidence. You know, I'm uh, trying to create more more plays and just trying to put it down low and not and not be uh, not make a bad play. Uh, and I think I've been been moving my feet a lot more at the blue line, which which helps uh, helps me quite a bit. Uh, but I mean, it's uh, it's uh, I, I like to to call it a a, a work in in uh, in progress. So uh, I'll still I'll still work on it every day. On the heels of Ryan Nugent Hopkins making that beautiful back check last game, I ask you, what does Ryan Nugent Hopkins mean to this team? Uh, he's awesome. Uh, obviously on the ice, you know, he does so many, uh, he's got so many small details to this game that, that most people won't see uh, important face-offs against LA. Uh, he's won big, big, big face-offs, uh, six on five at the end there. Um, and then you know those those, those back checks, and uh, he's got such a, such a good stick. But also uh, behind these these uh, these two doors, he's just always smiling. Shows up, he's always ready to 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 have fun, to work, and he's always smiling whether he's having a bad day or not. Uh, he's got the same uh, the same positive uh, mindset. It's uh, I've learned to really appreciate him more and more every day. It's been just over a year here uh, that you've been in Edmonton. Uh, so I ask you, the same question I asked Ryan Nugent Hopkins, how do you describe the environment in that dressing room, Vinny, when this team is playing you know, very well on a 16-game win streak or trying to find its way back in the win column more consistently? What are some of the tendencies and characteristics you've noticed? Um, I think our character is great, and uh, our character towards each other is great. I think that we're getting more and more accountable uh, without being... Uh, ruthless, uh, if that makes any sense. Sometimes I, uh, I feel like the start of the season we would get on top of each other a little too much instead of kind of focusing on on each, on our uh, our own jobs. Um, and I think that we're we're doing that, but we're able to tell our teammate to kind of pick it up and 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 you know make that 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 pass a, a, a little bit better and without yelling or without um, kind of getting on on top of of each other, which is great. And I think that builds trust, that builds chemistry. Um, and I think the last two games, we've, we, we've kind of seen it, you know, well, obviously the weekend, two, two losses that uh, they were not great for us, but you know, it happens, it's in the past. And um, LA, we came out, we had a great game and then boom, we, we were trying to build. And uh, I think St. Louis, we stuck with it. Um, and uh, hopefully we can just build on, on top of it someone who's in the early stages of their NHL career, what does that environment mean to you personally? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun, and I think that I've been able to help with, even though I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm early in my, my um, NHL career, I think I've, I've been through quite a bit, you know, and um, experience is, is, is experience no matter what league you're, you're in. Um, I think it counts, and I think I've been able to, to help a uh, a little bit to bring that that positive mindset back and uh, uh, to bring that 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 character every night.